once you do the reconstitution part and the peptide is ready to be used for injection, the first thing you wanna do is actually inject a full syringe of air into the peptide vial. Balance out the negative pressure that's inside the vial so that when you withdraw the solution for injection, it comes into the syringe much easier than if you didn't inject the air first. That's the first step you wanna do that in each of the two vials because we're obviously showing two different peptides today in separate vials and then we're gonna combine them into the same syringe. So once you've injected a full syringe of air into the vial, you're going to remove the syringe, do it in the second vial, and then from there, you can make the first withdrawal of the peptide solution, which I'm going to show you here. We're going to pull to 10 units, and sometimes you get a little bit of an air bubble, so you can just pull a little bit past and then push the air bubble back in. And once we do that, we're going to flip it back over, and then carefully remove the vial from the syringe, and we'll place that to the side. Okay, now that we have the first peptide in the syringe, 10 units of BPC-157 and 10 units of TB-500, then you'll have a total of 20 units in the syringe after you've done this combination. Right, so now we're going to take the syringe that we've already used for the first peptide, and we're going to insert it into the second peptide vial. And what you wanna do is make sure you're holding here so that the syringe doesn't get pulled into the vial with the second peptide, all right? And we'll turn it upside down. Once we get to our desired dosage, in this example, we're doing 20 units, so we already had 10 in the first one, and we've done that. And then I'm going to carefully withdraw that from the syringe. Okay, so we've got our full 20 units there.